Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to send an email when a Google form is filled out with the form entries. Now you might be thinking, oh, I already do that. I get an email from Google that tells me I have filled out a form uh, or someone has filled out a form and that is true. But I want to make that email a little bit better. So if we go up to tools, create a new form and we're going to create a new form and we're just going to say it's some kind of like entry for people to sign up for some event. So we'll have some short answers. We'll have a name and we'll have, let's make another thing and say occupation. Okay, so that's two items. We can add more and more if we want. And actually it does not matter how many items there are. We can get them all with the code that I'm going to show you. Okay, so in settings, you can do something where you get, oh, here, responses. You can say, hey, email me, get email notifications. All right, let's go look at what that looks like. So I filled out the form and here it says one response. It says your form has a new response. And in order to see what is in there, I have to go to this, which I have to go to responses and be like, okay, there's one response. Great. Actually, just hi, hi. Let me do again another one occupation doctor submit and now i have this and it looks fine if it's only one or two or three but when it gets more and more this is going to be very hard to look through and see individual people i have to click through these one through two maybe 200 i want them in my inbox and i want them in a nice so what i have done in app script is already wrote this function for you. So you can copy this sheet. You can copy this code. I'll put it up at apps, uh, bettersheets.co slash snippets as well. And what it does, we'll walk through it, is first it is a named function, which we'll deal with how to trigger this later. But we'll get the form values. We create a table in HTML. And for every single value, we get both the key and the data, which means the question and the answer. And then we build a table and we send an email with a subject form submitted with a date so that we can do this multiple times during the same day. We are sending an email to the owner of this spreadsheet. We can enter any email we want. And actually this is one of the most important parts of this is that you can set this particular email who it's to a number of individuals at your company, business, or yourself and an assistant or just the assistant, you can edit this sheet owner email. And then we use mail app here. We can also use Gmail app, but right now we're just gonna use mail app. Okay, how do we trigger this? How does this trigger that. We're going to first not get the email notifications of new responses. We're going to cut that off. And then once we save this, we're going to go over here to triggers on the left. We're going to create a new trigger and I'm going to choose which function to run. If you have other functions, you'll have to select it from here. And we are going to save event source from spreadsheet and event type on form submit. That is it. Save that and we will have to authorize it. But once it's saved, let's fill out this again. Let's submit another response and let's see what happens to call hello and doctor again submit so let's go look at our email and this is the email we got it says form submitted and it has a timestamp of when that form was submitted name and the occupation so all of the information from form is right here in our inbox this is fantastic i do not have to go back to our form responses here and check what is the data i do not have to look through this summary these responses these questions it's all in one package in my inbox so i can search through it maybe you want to put a keyword in the subject maybe you want to put some other information here for instance we may want the url of the sheet so let's add that actually in this video. So here we have this HTML. We're going to add another line HTML plus equals, and we are going to say sheet URL. And actually we want to write a little bit of HTML here. We're just gonna do P and then this plus sheet. And then at the end plus and in quotes again, and in quotes again, we're gonna end that P. So that's just a little bit of HTML paragraph. We're going to write sheet and then put the sheet URL here. What's a sheet URL? Let's get it. Variable sheet URL equals. I think we can just grab this instead of retyping it. Get sheet. Actually get active sheet. Get sheet. Ah, what it is get, get active spreadsheet, get URL. There it is. Not sheet URL, get URL. And so this sheet URL will be in the email. Let's save this and go submit another response and check. So we go, howdy, yo. And here we go. We're going to to see if this shows up. We have a new 
email, and now we have the sheet that it's selected. So we have the actual sheet that we can get to immediately if we want any more information here. And I want to show you that this, is, this code doesn't need to be edited if you want to add more things. So let's add a few more items, a few more questions. Let's add a question, how are you today? We can even say, okay, add option, good. Okay, let's go to the sheet form, <laughs> rather. Let's say your name is Hula Boy. How are you doing? Okay, occupation. Who lying? Submit. And already we have the email, we have the name, the timestamp, the occupation, are you okay? And the sheet. So we did not have to edit the code even if we added more items to the form, which make this really flexible and very easy. So here we see all these. So this adds another function, another option for you instead of these response emails. Up here, get email notifications for new responses. You can also have that if you want, but I like this much better. It is much more flexible. We can add more HTML to this, more styling if we want. You can add more things like the sheet, add more items easily, all types of stuff. I hope this makes sending emails when your form is filled out much easier for you and much better for you.